Hey everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11. I am Bill, and I, I don't know. <laughs> this is not the uh, Zlin Z142. That's Austin. That is the Zlin, the Zlin 142. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, so uh, I apologize if you're Czechoslovakian and I am mispronouncing that and you're yelling at me. I don't have a pronunciation key for it, uh, but this is a freeware plane for X-Plane 11 and it's absolutely fantastic. This is in no way um, meant to be a tutorial. That being said, I have done some research a little bit on how to start this thing. It has a very weird startup procedure. So we'll go through that um, start to finish, which I've only done bits and pieces of it. So um, I'll kind of walk through at least what I know on this. The developers on this plane also did the freeware Yak for X-Plane, which we've flown a handful of times. And the, it's this is payware quality um, without a doubt and and probably better than a lot of payware planes. So we're gonna go fly this around on Pilot Edge, which I just realized um, I have to log into here. And yeah, that's a Z42. So uh, a caveat on this plane um, in particular is that there's no transponder. Uh, I think there's one built into X-Plane that we can kind of like hot key our way through, but um, that's kind of more trouble than it's worth. So we're just gonna stay out of the mode C veil and have no transponder. So that, um, that'll that keep the flight a little bit interesting. Uh, Finbar, happy, well, it's probably Big Friday for you. I am on day I have no idea um, of working at home and I, I do not like it. Uh, but there's no commuting and I can pour a glass of scotch before five, which is excellent. So we'll check out the, the inside of this in a minute um, and we'll check out the outside uh, a little bit more once we're out in the light the the lighting in here in the little toy box is a little bit flat uh, this is sand that's not anything what what is that what view is that this is the interior of it again it'll, it'll look it'll probably look better once we're on the inside of the uh, of the plane or sorry, on the on the outside of the hangar, we are on the inside of the plane, and we'll we'll go through the startup procedure. But we're at Santa Inez, and that is just north of um, uh, Los Angeles, Santa Barbara area. So it's SoCal, but kind of getting into Central Cal. And let's try to start up this uh, Slin, this Z142. Uh, it's a Czechoslovakian plane. It was designed as a tandem aerobatic trainer in the 60s. So this is going to be fun. It's got 200 horsepower. It weighs who knows how much. Um, and it goes like a bat out of hell. And it's really fun. So I'm going to get the parking brake set here, which is this little lever over here. If you've got it bound to something on your uh, uh, keyboard or something, there you go. Um, so that is the parking brake set. Uh, the next thing that you got to do is turn the fuel on, which looks like it was already in the uh, the both um, position. So this is uh, fuel off. This is left to right. This is left to right, and then this is both. Uh, I do not speak um, Czechoslovakian, so. I am going to be trying to remember all of this stuff. <laughs> uh, what's up, Iron Iron Strange 33? Okay, so the next step that we go through is turning on the. Um, okay, I don't. I don't know why I'm getting this. Okay, uh, so we're getting an, uh, the accumulator is coming on, the generator is coming on and the starter is coming on. Um, I'm also going to turn on the beacon, which is this little guy. Uh, Jelzofini 
is the is the beacon. Uh, I do not speak French, Iron. I do not, unfortunately. So those are the three things that we turn on on that center console. Uh, then we're going to um, push this guy in, and this is the compressor, which you can kind of make out that. So there's the compressor. I'm going to also crack the throttle a little bit. Uh, this is the mixture. This little dial is actually the mixture, so we'll put that on um, Rich. It's probably primed, but here's the primer. So we'll prime that once with the fuel on, uh, and then turn on the master there. And then here's the magnetos, and we will check to make sure that nobody is around. We have the parking brake set. Clear prop, even though we're in our own hangar. And let's see if this thing will start up. I hope I did this correctly. All right. That's so it's the canopy closed here, so it's a little quiet. What's up, Matt? So that is a, that's a pretty fun uh, startup procedure. And it reminds me of when you're, you know, when you're first learning how to fly. Um, and then you've got uh, uh, you know you're you're learning things and going through each each step and you have no idea what any of the crap means. Um, so it's it's a very very strange um, startup procedure. And you know what? Uh, now that I I realize what I just did, I used the magneto on the on my uh, uh, Cytec panel. This is the actual starter, this white button right here. That is the actual starter. So instead of doing what I did and using my panel, uh, you can you can hit that button and now it'll start, it'll start to clean up. So there's a couple other really goofy things about this plane uh, once we get going uh, that we can talk about. But as of right now, we're going to lean for taxi. What's up, White Lake? I was like, why do I hear, um, why do I hear Steve-O in my ear? That's weird. Uh, these little shades actually retract, which is a super cool little touch. Uh, these back ones don't, but these straps move. So there's some really cool, um, little details on this. We've got our checklist here. Um, we can do strobe lights. We'll, I guess we'll turn that on. I, don't know. I haven't really 
play, uh, screw around with any of these. Uh, wheel, wheel fairings. We got wheel fairings? Yeah. Let's get the, let's get the wheel pants on for sure. Uh, cockpit closed. Open. So, fine there is okay. Pilot weight. That's good. Bag weight looks good there. Uh, we've got the tanks. We've got plenty of fuel. Total weight 19. <laughs> Uh, just under 2,000 pounds, so it's under a ton. Uh, I've got Imperial um, selected there, and those are the views, so that is... Probably should have done that before we started it, but... Um, that's totally fine. <laughs> it has been a while lately, I know. <laughs> so, 200 horsepower. 2,000 pounds. Santa Inez traffic. Uh, what is this thing called? Slim taxiing 26, departing to the northwest. Santa Inez. <laughs> so what do you? What the hell do you do in that situation when no one knows what the hell that is? Seems like a uh, very unhelpful thing to say. Yeah, we're a Slin 142. Like, what the hell is that? I have no idea what that is. It could be a helicopter. It could be a fighter jet. It could be any any number of things. Look at the shadows, though. Like how crisp those shadows are. to get this thing up in the air and see how, uh, how quick we can get it up to. Uh, so this, this was developed in the 60s, um, and I, I think the, the bulk of the planes um, were built in the 70s, but it, it is a design from the 60s. It was built as a tandem um, two-seat trainer. And this particular one, the 142, has uh, 200 horsepower, weighs 2,000 pounds right now, like with fuel and me sitting in it. Uh, we've also got a nice rear view mirror, which we can adjust to that, which is very, very helpful. So look at that. There. It's yeah, it's basically an LSA, but with 200 horsepower. Yeah, this, this is, listen to it with the, with the canopy open. Is that too loud with, uh, with the um, with my mic on it? I can get some lower. It sounds like a little bit loud, especially when we're just, we're just idle. Oh, bummer. Alright. Let's go. Master will bring that right down. We'll turn the radios up just so we can hear those. And there. We do have we do have this which we can um, volume. We'll turn that down a little bit. Alright, let me know let me know how that goes. Radio check. Seems good. Okay. Let me know and I can I can adjust it. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna move up the advance the throttle here a little bit to about 1500 RPM. And we're gonna get everything everything warmed up here. That to get in the green, we need all this stuff to get into the green, and then we will do a, uh, a run up. Um, no, it's it is uh, Ryan. I I can look up what the actual engine is. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, 
Uh, it's an it's an O540. It's a Lycoming O540. So it's a two, 200 horsepower, um, 2,000 pounds, and it's just it's, it goes like a bat out of hell. It, this is super fun. And look look at the the texturing on this. It is, this is a payware airplane. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I, I can't get over it. I'm, I'm excited to, to fly this thing around. I am I am a little bit bummed that it doesn't have a transponder that I can Sky see at least. Two zero four. Fuck. <laughs> What's up, Ken? Uh, it doesn't have a transponder that I can see, uh, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, but I think we should be good for a run up here. Uh, all right, let's enrich in the mixture. Props are in. I'm gonna get it up to 1800 RPM and check the mags. surfaces that looks good that looks good okay. oh yeah there's the tail looks good let's check the flaps um it will take off fine with no flaps um so i'm gonna leave them in there i, I read somewhere that you know you could put in take it's take off and approach flaps basically is how they have it um and you can see right there it says start uh, for approach, so it's like approach or take off and landing. Uh, excuse me, take off and approach and then landing. So I'm going to leave the flaps down. Um, this is the tow cable disconnect as well, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, I think that run up looks pretty good. We're in kilometers per hour, so I have no idea what speeds those are um, in relation to knots, but I have kind of played around with the speeds for this particular plane. So I at least know um, what speed we'll be cruising at, and then we'll, we'll kind of uh, copy the risk on what the approach speeds are, but we'll be able to f you know see and feel kind of what, what makes sense, and uh, if we don't make it, we don't make it. So. Santa Inez traffic, Slin, departing runway 26, Santa Inez. Right, we'll, we'll wait for this guy, even though it's a drone. Um, one knot is, okay, so it's uh, kilometers basically double. He's just, he's going to be out of there, isn't he? Yeah, floating up and then down. Okay, let's get the strobe coming on. Approaching runway 26. How are you doing in there, Austin? Like, seriously, look at how good the friggin' uh, textures are on this thing. 1.82 to be precise. All right, we got mixture full, got props full in. We're all warmed up. Let's see when this thing decides to take off. God, it sounds so cool.
Okay, let's move the manifold pressure back to about one. One kPa there is basically the climb, the climb out. I'm gonna pull the props back as well. Oh, you know I did not do the Santa Inez uh, noise abatement procedure. We'll fly quietly. Is that ASI? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's Czechoslovakian, and like, not, not like the typical Czechoslovakian uh, LSA stuff. This is from Czechoslovakia. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna cross over. Santa Inez traffic traffic Slin. Crossing over in midfield, departing to the northwest, northeast, Santa Inez. I feel like that is a quiet way of doing that instead of flying over the uh, little town there. We're gonna get, we're gonna get climbing. This plane is very weird. It is definitely a bizarre um, <laughs> number. For a number of reasons. Uh, 2999 is the outside. That. Uh, okay, so that's not going to help me. I'm just going to leave that there. We don't need altimeter setting, right? I really, I really don't want to uh, convert hectopascals <laughs> right now for each of them. Climbing in the... Am I in the red arc? I shouldn't be in the red arc. Of the... Of the airspeed indicator? Is that what you're saying, Ryan? What's the Daniel Fox? <laughs> I, have, I have no idea, bullet minimums. We're, we're finding out. Um, yeah. It's... Um, it's a strange one, man. I don't know. I, the The cool thing about about this plane um, is that it looks and sounds so freaking real, but it is also um, like way overpowered. So, it, you know, we're VFR. We're looking outside. I really don't need to see any of this stuff um, for the most part. You know, we can we can just look outside. We're clearly um, we're clearly flying, so that's fine. Um, what the hell is that attitude indicator? It's awesome. All right, so the attitude indicator is my favorite part of this plane um, for a couple of reasons. One is that right now it's turned off. That kind of goes back to the we really don't need to know what any of this crap is saying. Uh, because we're just straight up VFR. Um, does this change the coloring in here? I don't know if that changed the lighting. Um, so this is caged right now. And, and, and to turn that on, you go into um, the voltage here. You put it on high voltage. Uh, and then you you uncage it, and now we have an attitude indicator. Um, it is opposite color-wise of what you'd think. So if I pitch up, it goes blue. That's it's opposite. You know, it, it goes blue, which is correct. You know, we're heading towards the sky, but it's just upside down. If I go down, um, it's it's brown. So it is it is upside down. Uh, Color-wise, but actual movement-wise, um, it's it points you to the correct color. It's, it's very it's very weird, um, but yeah, I don't I don't know I don't know what that is for. Um, 
Yeah, well, the Soviet the Soviet one um, moved the plane moves, doesn't it? On the the Russian stuff, B seven would probably know. Um, I thought that the Russian stuff, the plane actually moves uh, rather than the uh, the static little plane. start to lean it out <laughs> again this is the mixture right here this little knob is the mixture which um, at first I was like dude I don't like that at all but I actually kind of am coming around to it a little bit <laughs> I kind of like it I need to say um, it's, a, it's just it's so funky but with a 200 horsepower, what do we say, um, an 0540? Uh, and with a 200 horsepower 0540, 2,000 pounds. Come on, man. Give me some. Uh, it looks like a turboprop nose. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what Ryan said too. Uh, one of the liveries has everything in English, but I don't remember which one at the moment. That would be helpful. I don't know if I even checked the livery. Did I even check the livery? Default. Oh, look at that. There. <laughs> the other one did not have. Oh, that's a Canadian one. That might be in English. Uh, that looks like Italian. Uh, go no further. Hell yeah. <laughs> Get some, get some smoke going. Oh, that is so money. We lost the wheel pants. Put the boot back on. Part of the fun is not having it in English, though. I mean, I, I think learning it with the English one on would be would be smart. Um, but it's kind of fun to not have it in English. Uh, that has to have uh, a one foot long prop shaft in a manual. Yeah, it's it's not a, it's it is weird looking. Uh, but you know those engines aren't that big. these settings. Huh. Okay. Thank you for reminding me, though, Minimums. Um. Right. 
Uh, is the Robins offset too? A little bit? Offset to the left as well. Is this offset to the left? Yeah. tell you right now that there is no autopilot. Or, uh, are we? No, we're, I don't think we're up above where we got to be. Um, well, actually, no, I take that back. I think we might be clear to get this thing to cruise. Uh, Alright, so let's head to Bakersfield and get this thing cruised out. So 2350 is our recommended RPM setting. So there's 43. The Z43 has the 0540. Yeah, you're totally right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, that, what a goofy son of a so there's a there's a bunch of different sub models to this, um, and it looks like they all have slightly different engine setups. Uh, there's a an AEIO AEIO 360 uh, flat four. Uh, that's in the 242. The Z43 has the 0540. Yeah, there's all kinds of weird variations in this thing. Uh, a lot of a lot of old um, piston planes that were not radials were inline and upside down, um, which like a lot of the old French racing planes um, were were a straight, you know, like straight six with the with the, sh the crankshaft um, on the top and the pistons pointing down. And that's to get the propeller in line uh, with the crankshafts and not have the engine sticking up over the cockpit. So they would they would flip the the inline engine around, um, which is a pretty distinct look. And it does this does have that kind of look to it, um, but just not nearly as skinny. I I suspect that this does not have the a, uh, an inline this this model. I'm trying to look inside the actual. You know, it's hard to tell because that looks like those look like pistons in there. Those look like pistons. They might this might Ryan, you might be right now. Yeah, it might be a straight flipped. At least on this model. I don't know what they have the engine actually modeled um, for. 
Uh, plus it allows for that lower airflow inlet. But all of that I think is born out of just being, you know, in line with the prop, with the prop shaft, which I think is super, super interesting, um, like really early uh, engineering, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, so I think you're, I think you're right. At least, with, at least this model. That does look like like you, you see what I'm saying there? Like those are the uh, cooling fins of each cylinder. And one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got to be six. What do you uh, what do you think in there, Austin? Now out of the mountainous area, so we can probably try to do some acrobatic stuff. Uh, I have a bottle of gin waiting. Nice. Yeah. Uh, scotch. Scotch, scotch, scotch. Down it goes. Down into my belly. Aerobatic time. Let's check it out. I don't know what the speeds necessarily need to be, but I'm going to go, let's call this 15 degrees nose down. So I don't know how how loud that was, or if you can hear it. Did anybody hear what sounded like an old-timey telephone? Did you hear that? That is the stall bell. <laughs> uh, all right, here let's let's get this thing into a stall. It's so awesome. And to me, it's quiet. I mean, I have the audio turned down, um, but to me, it sounds like a phone is ringing in the other um, in the other room. So let's get this. Well, I'm going to keep the power on and just do a power on vertical stall. Awesome, because it's just like a little... All right, let's do... Uh, let's see if we can just do a nice little yellow roll here. So we we'll get down 15 degrees. Let's build some airspeed. Up 15 degrees, which is not the same scale. Right? Am I am I seeing that right? I'm I'm going to assume that that 30 means 30 degrees nose up. So from or nose down. So there's 15. There's 30. And on the upside, that's 15 and that's 30. It's like tiny. The scale is tiny on that. That is weird looking. It it seems to match correctly, but I wonder if there's. If it's more sensitive, going nose up for some reason. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the circular dial. Yeah. Oh, 
you can like you hold them and you're on the phone you like you hold the actual phone part in your hand uh, and walk around with the cord and see what times. And by the way, we'll, we'll probably do this later. Uh, this ejects the canopy and it totally works. Does it eject the prop? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I have to find that. That would be. Why would that? In I think that's just showing that the propeller is that direction. Freaking cool is this thing, for real. <laughs> Yeah, it's an emergency exit, yeah. So you, you pull that and it just shoots the, the canopy and just rips right back. Yeah, because you have, um, it's it's aerobatic, so you've got a parachute on, so if you need to bail, you gotta eject the canopy. Um, since it opens up forward, um, it slides open. There's no way for it to open up um, in the air because of that. So you gotta, you gotta eject it. that the pole style phones actually quickly hang up the line and pick it up to create the pulses. Very useful though, Ryan. I, I enjoy it. Dual compasses. Is awesome. There's no DG in this thing, I think, right? Or is this thing slaved? That is a DG, but it is really freaking stupid. Okay, so there's the there's the compass setting, and there's my heading. So I want to be magnetic heading. I want to be 032 is what I want to be at. So I pull this to 032. Rudder trim. Rudder trim. Actually, it does have rudder trim. Let's make sure that's not your rudder trim. Yeah, that 
seems to be rudder trim. Well, we know that there are some screws loose in this cabin. Hello. Hi. Because <laughs> I don't know. B B7, thank you. <laughs> there are definitely some screws loose in this cabin. There are... This was built in Czechoslovakia in the 70s, so there are probably literally screws loose in this cabin. It's terrible. Terrifying prospect. Uh, let's see, Tower 18-1. Let's see if they say anything about my lack of transponder. Ring police. Charlie, the Vera 2 departure. That's what I was looking at. Uh, Vera 2 departure, Daggett, and then outside, we'll see Charlie. Plus, two pump Charlie, be back correct. You can contact Tower 1, you're ready for departure. You're number one at the end, so it takes as much time as you need. All right, thanks, two pump Charlie. This is so weird. These, the, the attitude indicator and the DG are so weird. Colin Henderson, is that TBM 915 Tango Bravo? Look at the bank indicator, too. Hey, Bob. Uh, like, it's backwards. Uh, don't wait for me, bro. TBM 5 Tango Bravo, we're actually clearing to the request. But it, but it works. Standby. Like, there's right. Tango 169 or Bravo it's Charlie. It's just upside down. 169 or Bravo oh, Kilo. It's so there's weird. Available right now. So freaking weird. I should have had vodka. King Air 9 or Bravo Kilo, Bourbon Clears. Yeah, November 6 9, Bravo Kilo, go ahead. Number 169 or Bravo Kilo, clearance is available, advise ready to copy. Alright. Ready, um, ready to copy. We're doing 100 meters. Bravo around. Kilo, clear to Las Vegas, McCarran International Airport. Via the Van Nuys 3 departure, Daggett transition. Is this supposed to be like that? I sure arrival. hope so. Ring Climb and maintain 4,000, expect 1,000, 1 zero minutes after departure, departure frequency 134.2, squawk 6607. So there's big Clear to Las Vegas uh, via the Van Nuys 3 departure, take a transition, crest 4, arrival, uh, maintain 4,000, expect 1, 3,000 and 1, 0. Departure frequency 134.2, uh, squawk 6607, November 1, 6, Bravo. Do some Air Nine or Bravo Kilo Rebec, right? Do some real practice. Some Almost air show practice, Warrior, landing nine to practice. Five, Bravo, five miles to the east, inbound to land with information Zulu. Warrior Nine or Seven Bravo. Correction, Warrior Nine or Seven Five Bravo. El Monte Tower. Enter left base for only one niner. Clear left base for one niner. Seven five Bravo. TBM 5, Tango Bravo. All day long, Bravo, man. Copy. Where's the company about leaving? All day long. TBM 9 or 5, Tango Bravo. Clear to the Jarwin Airport. On departure, turn right heading. Or sure, not on departure, turn uh, left heading 180. Front door to Ventures, Cresto. Then I smile. Climb 18, 7000, expect flight level 280, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.4, oh, walk 5334, verify heading 10, zero, will allow compliance with terrain and obstacle clearance. Oh. Wait, my name will be at heading 180, right on the distress, and then a solid hold. I've got four flights, literally cannot crash. Make sure four one zero minutes after departure. Spot symbol 118.4, 5334, yeah, walk it is and we are heading 180, and super fun. TBM 915, hang up, Robert, you're back, correct? That was ground, good evening, Hoggles 1, set D5, we're going to carry off Charlie, and we're going to attack the system. Scott 2 Sierra Papa, wind 2 9 0 one, two, gust 2 Sierra, running 2 9 clear for the option. Clear for the option for runway 2 9 one, seven, two, Sierra Papa, thank you. Fog 1 1, Nellis Ground, runway 3 right, taxi via Golf Alpha. 3 right, Golf Alpha, Huckle 1. Santa Barbara, Barbara. Right. TBM 517 Papa Charlie, IFR to Santa Maria for the I 10 ready. TBM 517 hey, Papa Charlie. Santa Barbara Clear is that called? Santa Maria Airport via the Flight 5 departure, San Marcos transition direct. 
find maintain. Max A330, uh, thank you so much for following. Maintain 3000, expect 8000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 120.55, squawk 2134. Clear via the San Marcos. Uh, Four, climb via six. Uh, maintain 3,000, expect 8,010, departure 12055. Yo, all traffic in the area, please uh, add 5. Please add 5. 5. Yeah, 5. Charlie, you're clear to Santa Maria via the Flight 5 departure, San Marcos transition direct. I uh, got a Flight 5 departure, San Marcos direct. Give me a 7 Papa Charlie, read back right for the I-10. Dude, pilot, it is super. Hey, Bernie, I'm Diamond 546 Delta Charlie. Is that the West GA ramp? Requesting VFR to park the West. Information Romeo for the Cat 7. Or 546 Delta Charlie, San Bernardino ground, runway 24, taxi via Alpha. Runway 24, taxi via Alpha 5 Delta Charlie. 6 Delta Charlie, copy the rating. Irving Tower, plus 572 Papa Charlie, holding short of only 15 at uh, Bravo, ready to go. Plus 572 Papa Charlie, all you Irving need. Tower, wind <laughs> 25015. Runway 15, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 152 Papa Charlie. Hey, um, Ryan, can you look up um, and post a link of the the Zlin Z43? I kind of want to see what that looks like. Like what the cowling looks like. Got to use your Your papa, yeah, I crashed again. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to make sure you were not taxiing in without clearance. Thank you. I think both Cessna drivers have been freaking out. Yeah, I'm still learning how to land. No, that's okay. I understand. It's windy out there. Crashed again, as in crashed. Again, not my sin crashed again. Literally crashed. All right, we don't need this attitude indicator. I'm gonna cage this guy. Pull that out. With, uh, with some electrical load on the system. Very similar to this nose. I mean, they're not big, they're really not big engines at all, but, I mean, it, I don't know, I don't know, I'm sure they just moved it back a little bit. Almighty Tower Warrior 975 Bravo, clear of runway 19. Number 542, Papa Charlie, contact departure. Departure to Papa Charlie, thanks. Niner 65 Bravo El Monte uh, correction. Uh, taxi the ramp via Alpha. This frequency. Taxi via via Alpha 75 Bravo. Yeah, the 43 is the one with the 540. Supposedly. All right, so it is that. So that one's a four place. It has a very like Grumman Tiger Cheetah feel to it, where it looks super tiny. Similar wings too. Fiber nine seven five Bravo, you landed without a landing clearance. It's gonna be a Cat seven fail. You're right. Thank you. Tower 
Sound Base Ground, Cessna 172 yeah, Sierra okay. Popeyes at the short term parking with information Alpha, ready to taxi first on uh, touch and go. Cessna 172 Sierra Popeyes, Sound Base Ground, runway 29er, taxi via Alpha. Runway 29er, taxi via Alpha, 172 Sierra Papa, thank you. November five one seven Papa Charlie, Santa Barbara Ground. Runway one five left, taxi exactly to Charlie. One five left, via Charlie, Santa Barbara Ground. TBM 915 Tango Bravo, Henderson Ground, runway 17 right, taxi via Alpha Hotel. Uh, yeah, Alpha, um, Alpha, 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 Alpha. Bakersfield Tower. TBM 5 Tango Bravo, you are blocked to verify you have it as Juliet. I have a Juliet, TBM 7 Papa Charlie, you are blocked to verify you have it as X ray. Uh, I have X ray, 7 Papa Charlie. This is November 172 Sierra Papa, wait you. South Tower, Hall 1, short of 3 right. I'm not sure to have to control my plane, but I'm here uh, lined up on the runway. <laughs> At D5. Pog 1-1, one, one, hmm. Dallas Tower. Weird, Ryan. Yeah, it's probably one of those planes where there was like a the small run right. where they somehow Wait, shoved a different engine call. here and redid the Clear for takeoff, change the departure, have to play. Clear for takeoff, three right, change the departure, hog one. Meadowsfield Tower, Zlin, 204 Lima Echo with information Delta, about 10 miles to the west, close traffic. Number 204 Lima Echo, Bakersfield Tower. Center left base, runway 30 left. All right, left base for 30 left. It's Lynn 204. What are we, is that right? It's Lynn, yeah. Torrance Ground, Seneca 676, Mike Tango, Boston. Seneca 676, Mike Tango, Torrance Ground. Yep, Seneca 676. I think a lot of the stuff we're hearing right now was in that video. Yeah. Right, right, right. Seneca 6.10, are you looking for flight following? Seneca 676 Mike Tango. Runway. Seneca 676 Mike Tango, runway 29er right, taxi via Juliet. 29er right via Juliet, Seneca 676. The, I've landed this thing twice. 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 I've landed this thing TBM 915 Tango Bravo Henderson Tower, wind 230, runway 17 right. The What's up, Finbar? Oh, wait, what's up, Rock? Take off the Tango Bravo. Uh, clear, yeah, we'll be here. I don't know where he was leaving from, but he said, but um, if he's leaving out of a class Charlie, he said 2 Niner, right? Um, Number 517 Papa Charlie, Santa Barbara two Tower, wind 27018, class 26. Runway 15 left, clear for takeoff. 15 left, clear for takeoff, 7 copper true. I can't, I think, I can't think of a 2-9er. Sound is tired, so I want to turn to Sierra Public, holding short of 2-9 at Alpha, ready for takeoff. 2-9. But it could be... 172, Sierra Papa, 7 uh, tower, wind 2-9er, 0-1-2, gust 2-0, make left, close traffic for runway 2-9er, clear for takeoff. Ontario. Make left traffic for runway 2-9er, clear for takeoff, thank you. But yeah, if you want flight following up to the special flight rules, then... Touch ground, I can think my team will actually work out the question flight following. 
Oh, it was March. Number 676, Mike Tango. Roger, just understand that uh, you may not get the flight following through the SFRA. They may turn phase you at the end, or uh, at the uh, beginning of that route. You still want it? I uh, know, fine. I think you can fly first, then it comes back to you. Okay, so we're just going to Roger, are you ready to text? Yeah. Hey, for now, for Tax Media, Juliet, turn right. right. Roger, thanks. DBM 5 Tango Bravo, contact for our flight. T Pop says, how many I think it's left here, brother? TBM 7 Papa Charlie, contact for our flight. Over to departure, 7 Papa Charlie. St. Bernard Tower, down 546 Delta Charlie, holding short runway 24, requesting an early frequency change. Diamond 546 Delta Charlie, San Bernardino Tower, wind 25010, gust 15, runway 24, clear for takeoff, as expected. Clear to takeoff, runway 24, 546 Delta Charlie. Okay, we're getting there. This thing is definitely not fast. Uh, True Ender, we're heading to uh, Bakersfield. And we're in Bakersfield. This is Bakersfield. Beautiful downtown Bakersfield. And we're heading to Meadows. Meadowsfield. I, I need a better word than that. Clear delivery, November 7th is when I hit Whiskey's uh, Skyhawk uh, with Yankee, I have Mark Burbank. Number 7618, Whiskey, Chelmain Clearance Delivery. Good afternoon, Clearance on request. Going 7618, Whiskey, clear to the Burbank Airport. On departure, fly heading at 240. Expect greater vector steel beach VOR. Then as filed, climb maintain 2000, expect 4000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.1, one, squawk 6045. And I'm trying to find which is clear to Burbank uh, on departure 240, radar vector to steel beach. Uh, then as filed, 2000, expect 4000, five minutes after departure, 128.1, and 6045. Uh, yeah, true under, yeah, call, um, please. I am a private yeah, pilot in the world. It's called 28 Whiskey, you'll be back, right? Sally Sire, Cessna 120 Sierra Papa is on the left downward for runway 29. Let's go 2 Sierra Papa, wind 290012, that's 2 Sierra, runway 29 are clear for the option. Runway 29 are clear for the option, 120 Sierra Papa, thank you. Bakersfield Towers, Lynn 204, Lima Echo, left base 301. Number 204, Lima Echo, wind 330 at 9, runway 30 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 30 left, Slim 204, Lima Echo. Um, 4, Lima Echo, on, after the touch and go, make left close traffic, going 30 left. Alright, left close traffic for 30 left, Slim 204, Lima Echo. Uh, true, I fly out of John Wayne. Okay, let's go, mixture full, props full in, let's get the approach flaps coming in. First one. John Wayne clearance. Nice. Uh, clearance or or I should say normal. 232 Bravo Bravo. Heading from John Wayne to San Bernardino. VFR. Request flight follow. With information Yankee. Sirius 232 Bravo Bravo. John Wayne clearance delivery. Good uh, afternoon. Clearance. True. Did I answer or, uh, the question? Uh, I, I don't remember if I answered the question. Uh, I fly out of John Wayne. I feel like I may have gotten interrupted. By Lights are on, mixture is in, props are full forward, flaps are on approach. Let's go to landing. Series 232, Bravo Bravo, departure instructions, bad uh, Landing flaps, so there's full flaps. 
no idea what degree flap that is. Sirius 232 Bravo Bravo, have your VFR departure instructions, Vice Red Copy. Ready to copy, 232 Bravo Bravo. Oh, longest displaced. 7 6 Delta Charlie, frequency exchange approved, good day. Ever. I appreciate it, Zig Delta Charlie. Sirius 232 Bravo Bravo, on departure, fly heading 080, maintain VFR at or below 3000. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 4634. On departure, uh, heading 080, VFR below 3000, 128.1, and squad 4634, 2 Bravo Bravo. Sirius 2 Bravo Bravo, are you back, right? A little, obviously a little floaty there. Flops up. Things in. Watch ground. Seneca 616, Mike Tango, ready to check. Number 676, Mike Tango, Torrance Ground, Lavender. I can leave the one notch Watch ground, we had some radio problems. Their clearance still valid. First landing. Number 676, Mike Tango. Uh, take any position, please. We're here at Chance Eight parking up for Seneca 6, Mike Tango. Seneca 676, Mike Tango, Roger Roy, 29 or right, taxi via Alpha Juliet. That's Seneca 6, Mike Tango. All right, let's see if we can do a uh, shorter path. That's fast, eh? Yeah. Jeez. I know. I tried to get it on the SSD and it sounds good. I think I'm just going to delete that. Thank you, Lampard. That was a good idea. Sound is tower. Cessna 172 Sierra Papa is midfield left down there for runway 29. Cessna 172 Sierra Papa, wind 29 or 012, gust 20, runway 29 are clear for the option. Runway 29 are clear for the option, 172 Sierra Papa, thank you. Bakersfield Towers, Lynn 204, Lima Echo, midfield left down, Lynn 30 left. Lynn 204, Lima Echo, Lynn nice Tree Tree, zero at Niner, runway 30 left, clear for the option. 30 left, cleared option, 204, Lima Echo. Power idle. Burbank Tower, 772 on golf outlets on the island, inbound. Full flaps coming in. Number 737 Golf Alpha, Burbank Tower, wind 25015, circle south, right left down, correction, circle south for left base, runway 33, runway 33, clear to land. Runway 33, circle north for 33, clear to land, Cessna 737 Golf Alpha, negative circle south for a left base, runway 33, runway 33, clear to land, wind 25015. Okay, circle south for runway 33, that's the 737 clear to land. Alright, so that is a short, <laughs> that's short, oh my god. Yeah, Monty Ground, Skyhawk turning punch, go through the horn request. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's got the one notch of flaps in there. Charlie Fox trying to echo Holy golf crap, that thing falls into the sky, that yeah, is money. Yeah, Charlie Fox, Echo Golf, you know, Golf, uh, looking at the transient parking, looking for the effort departure to the south at 2,000 feet. Information Echo. Charlie Fox, Ride Echo, Golf, Uniform, Ray, 1-9er, Taxi via Alpha Bravo. 1-9er via Alpha Bravo. Charlie Fox, Echo Golf, Uniform. John Wayne Grounds, there's 232 Bravo Bravo, ready for taxi. Sirius 232, Bravo, Bravo, John Wayne Ground, runway 2, sir, left at Kilo, taxi via Alpha, Hotel, Charlie, Kilo. That's runway 2, sir, left at Kilo, via Alpha, Hotel, Charlie, Kilo, 2, Bravo, Bravo. Whoa! Oh, Ground, rookie, 393, with the IMR to Oxnard. Bakersfield Towers, Lynn, 204, Lee Mecca. We're going to depart to the north, straight out. You were stepped on, circuit three whiskey, quick easy or thing. Circuit three five three nine whiskey on request, standby. Other aircraft calling, say again. That was uh, Zlin two zero four Lee Mecca. We're going to depart the pattern to straight out to the north. Plan four Lee Mecca, straight out departures approved. Have a good day. Have a great day. Two zero four Lee Mecca. Sunday Sunday says I'm also into Sierra Papa. Do you want me to exit uh, via Fox Drive? This is my last call. Number 172, Sierra Papa, from a right turn at Foxtrot and contact ground point six. Right turn on uh, Foxtrot, contact ground point six. 172, Sierra Papa, thank you. 
Hi, I'm John Wayne Grau on the Skyhawk 761 Whiskey is ready for taxi at the west ramp. Number 761 Whiskey, John Wayne Grau, right, choose your right at Kilo, taxi via Bravo Kilo. 2 zero right via Bravo Kilo for 761 Whiskey. Okay, there's like a short runway over here at... Watch tower, Seneca 616, Mike Tango, only short two. Yeah, right. We're gonna go... We're gonna Seneca go 676, Mike Tango. on that one. 22 9. Torch tower, make right down with departure. Correction, make a... Uh, yeah, make a right down with departure. Runway 29 right, clear for takeoff. 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 8, custom 2, 3. Take off, 29 right, right, right down with departure. Seneca 6, okay. Uh, Charlie's ground, Cessna 172 Sierra Papa is clear of 29 at Foxtrot, ready to taxi back to the um, parking. Let's go, 172 Sierra Papa, Cessna's ground, taxi to the ramp via Alpha. Um, yeah, Ryan, that landing was. Taxi via uh, Alpha, 172 Sierra like Papa, thank more you. More realistic. 172 Sierra Papa, and for future reference, after landing, you can turn off the runway at any available taxiway and uh, make sure your aircraft is clear of that whole short line and then it's stop uh, there and contact ground. Or correction. Landing rate uh, plug in. You either get a frequency change to ground or contact the tower, uh, let them know that you've cleared their active. Examples where it's kind of Awesome, like, yeah. thank you. Thank you, have a great night, mate. Acceptable, like that would have been totally fun. I'm on tower. It's going to have Charlie Fletcher. Golf uniform, holding short one niner for VFR departure. Charlie Fox Ride Echo Golf Uniform, El Monte Tower, wind 22018, gust. Uh, correction, wind 22011, gust 18. Runway 19 niner clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, one niner, Charlie Fox Ride Echo Golf Uniform. Uh, which, which runway are we going to go to? we got the triangle. Stay right here, ground system, 1110 alpha request. <laughs> I've got an idea. I want to land on each three of those runways. Number 111, here, alpha, San Bernardino, one ground, go ahead. We're going to start. Uh, Sierra Alpha is on the east parking. Uh, request taxi for departure so to the west clockwise. with Romeo and uh, request Cat 7. Number 111, Sierra Alpha, runway 24, taxi via Alpha. 24, taxi via Alpha, Minter Alpha. Shafter, Minter, traffic. Slin, 204, Lima Echo. Airspace is now closed for landing demonstration. That was over. <laughs> Fred did not click the button all the way in. Shafter Minter Traffic Zlin 204 Lima Echo airspace is now closed for landing demonstration. Copy the risk. 26. We're gonna go, we're gonna enter 26 from a loop. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it without, absolutely without leaving the boundary. So, into the loop. Idle. Flaps. and load it up. Flap. 
perhaps. What's the next one? Eight. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a. We, we. I don't even have to loop around. I can just go straight for the numbers. Discord's broken right now. Some speed. Let's just see. Let's see how 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 aggressive you can get with this thing. <laughs> the seatbelts. The seatbelts aren't hooked in, so they go flopping all over the place. Oh, that is awesome. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, this is trying to, to break an airplane. down full power and then go inverted and get those seat belts to flop going it like things out there that's hilarious okay it's, we have do we have enough no I don't think we have enough to get to get over. We can go inverted here though hopefully nope we're gonna be in the field I am currently on a break right now. That. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Just right over the red line. Oh, that was freaking pip. <laughs> um, below minimums, absolutely for sure, dude. Scotch, an aerobatic plane, and a global pandemic with quarantine. Dude, that was awesome. Alright, let's see if we can do an air show pass loop. I, I love that the stall horn comes on with the, the wings loaded up. That is super cool. Okay, so this is going to be an RC plane um, air show pass loop right over the runway. We're going to 
pancake it. Come on, get it. Get it. Look at that model. The the lighting, the textures look so good. Oh, sweet. So the seatbelts only fly up when it's like ex an extended inverted. Um, dude, it's really good for free. Holy crap. Yeah, <laughs> look at this freaking seatbelts. Oh, that's so sick. And the headphones! <laughs> dude, no way! <laughs> that is awesome! Oh my god, that is too awesome. We're looking good. Oh, we're looking, looking good. good. We're looking so good. That is amazing. I mean, super unrealistic that they would land in the exact same spot every time. But pretty good. Oh, let's pull the canopy. Great call. Right over, right over the, <laughs> the runway. Here we go. Canopy, canopy. All right, the emergency canopy is going in. Three, two, one. Canopy, eject. <laughs> oh, I just shoots out. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there it goes. There it goes. Not, not good. <laughs> the canopy is good though. Yeah, we would have bailed. We would have maybe bailed, right? What does it look like? Oh, the static elements went back on, so that's nice. <laughs> huh. Well, that was a pretty pretty thorough test of the Freeware Zlin 142. Left flap is gone. Oh, I is it? Yeah, oh yeah. Left flap is gone. Both flaps are gone. That is awesome. All right, well, I love that. I am kind of, after that, I feel like um, doing something legit. Let's do a legit flight. Um, we'll, we'll load up a John Wayne and have a different kind, but still equal amount of 